probably the strangest use for a two post lift. Yeah, I needed to lift the front of the uh, the front of the engine, um, and it sits on a block of wood, which obviously I can't get to, to either clean the old paint off or paint it itself. So a bit of a sketchy setup. I think that uh, that will suffice. Just give me uh, the chance to get under there and paint it properly. Well, she's masked up, at least in the critical areas. I just need to remove the block of wood that holds the uh, holds it up at the front there. Then we can get some paint on it. Could possibly go wrong. Well, I just need it to dry now, but uh, yeah, it's black. So just a bit of unmasking to do and see what it looks like. However, I'll uh, just let it dry a little bit more first. Right, let's uh, let's get some masking tape off before it's stuck on forever.
just one last bit. Well, it's the next day, the paint's on, it's dry, and it's not falling off. Let's take a look. Well, folks, there it is. This is how it will be displayed at Easter at the museum. Phase one of them making it a little bit more uh, World War II complete. So, been giving it a bit of a clean off, tying up some of these HT leads that were. Uh, we undid to have a look down the cylinders and I realised we never checked in that cylinder. So I've got a better um, camera to use. So we'll uh, set it up and we'll, we'll have a look in there and then cable tie it back up. So it turns out we missed this cylinder. Take those, that original cable tie off that it came with. Again, no spark plugs. And we have this, which is definitely better than the one I was using. It is a 1080, so it does give a better image. Not the best image, but not the worst. So, let's uh, see what we can see. Can get it in the hole. Ah. very rusty cylinder again as you can see such a shame guys
That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Well, I'm happy with that. Time to get it round uh, into the museum. Just waiting for some suitable uh, lifting equipment and we'll get it moved, folks. up Wednesday, just one more day to go before uh, the RAF Snaith Museum is open. A lot of things are being put in place, still a lot to do, uh, let's go take a look around. So this is the original kitchen, you can see we've got the original Belfast sink in place, a rather noisy fridge, making use of the uh, what was the uh, servery for the dining room which would have been out of this way. So yeah, if you come to the museum and you, you want a cuppa or a sandwich or something, that's the place. Our old toilet is now more of a library. Uh, just in the process of that firm being rigged up by uh, one of the volunteers. As you can see we've got one there as well. A lot of the display boards are out. Some seating and this is the room where it all started but now things have definitely changed so let's, uh, let's show you down here one of the volunteers Steve he does quite a bit of model making and things Put a few on display. This area used to be a bathroom and beyond it was a boiler house. We have the radio room with, as you can see, we're getting some getting some pieces of equipment in here. Some of these will be working. This is thanks to uh, another one of the volunteers, Martin. Now we also remember the women's land army that was here. Uh, they were here after the war. And uh, some period plows. And then the rest of this room is some of my bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. No need to introduce the, uh, the Hercules engine. That's been in a few videos recently, but at least now people will be able to see it. We also have a few Rolls Royce Merlin parts. We have the uh, a piece of wing section and wing bombay from Halifax HR 871. We have a Halifax tail wheel. We have the reduction gear casing, which now has a, a modified stub to be fitted with a propeller. And that's a its internal this is the reduction gear it's been in so many videos it's not in a rotational state at the moment i need to make a stand for it but it's a nice piece to look at we have the hobson fuel injection carburetor which is actually the same as the one on there we have the uh, the runway lights on display 
And literally some remains of and some electrical stuff. Anyway, moving on. Down here we have quite a bit of things on uh, the squadron that served here, 51 squadron. He needs to get dressed. The bomb dump explosion. And it's nice to be able to look out the windows again. So yeah, these were all bedrooms originally. So yes, the finishing touches will be done tomorrow. And then, Friday will be upon us. No more painting. This will have another Halifax display in it, HR936. Some of the parts are under there to go on the table. The flying cap did actually belong to George. The flight, uh, the flight helmet, I think he was a flight engineer actually. There's the crew. And quick sneak peek, because you're not really meant to see this. The nose art will be on the wall, but you, you didn't see that, so don't tell anybody. So, now through the little corridor, we found these benches which I thought looked quite period. It is nice when the sun's out. So, we're going to do one bedroom as an airman. As you can see here, it's slowly coming together. trying to make it authentic and we have the story of George Booth here and we're going to dedicate this room to him because we, we have so much info and even a photograph actually of his billet room we'd like to try and recreate it in there we, this room's more the home front and things like that Now we will change these rooms moving forwards and this will actually be a WAF officer's bedroom which it was during the war but for now it's just somewhere to get the displays out and this room at the moment is the women's land army and this bedroom will be done as a women's land army bedroom there used to be a, a woman called Olive in here and apparently, uh, she was known for going out the window and meeting up with people. So yeah, quite a difference. She needs to get dressed as well. So, apart from a final clean up, it's about as much as we will be doing for Easter. The grand opening being in May, and we'll have a lot more finished by then. But I think it's, uh, it's now coming together quite well. What do you think, folks? Well, that sun's nice coming through the window. I dazzled myself now looking at the sun. Well, I think I'll uh, call it a day. We shall lock up. and see what tomorrow brings. Has to be said though, this, this block, this whole building feels so much different now. Quite a transformation. Better go turn the lights off in here. Can't reach the light switch. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 
Yeah. No. Um, no. 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 You brought in the little generator set. Nice and warm in here now. This is to represent the Women's Land Army. These buildings were used by the Women's Land Army for pretty much as long as they are here. Well folks, that's it for this video. You can see uh, the struggles before opening. And now we're finally open. If you're local, why not bob in over the weekend? Uh, or check our Facebook group, RAF Snake Museum, for when we are open. So on that bombshell, catch you on the next one. <laughs>